There's four different types of deep cycle batteries, which is the best. We'll quickly explain the pros and cons of each. That way you can make an informed decision on which one's best. Here's the flooded lead acid battery. EFB is enhanced flooded battery. This one has a lot of advantages. It's low cost, it lasts a long time. It's really tolerant to overcharging. With advantages like that, why would you want any other battery? We'll go over the disadvantages. You have to periodically check the water level. You can't tip this battery upside down. It's usually not a problem. A battery like this needs to be in a ventilated area. This battery lasts two years, this one lasts four. The same technology, different configuration. Now that we've looked at the flooded battery, let's look at the two sealed batteries. We'll talk about AGM batteries first. AGM stands for absorbent glass mat. There's thin fiberglass pads between each of the lead plates in the battery. A battery like this can withstand a lot of impacts and vibrations. The fiberglass makes the inside of the battery more durable. It'll also charge faster. Because the battery's sealed, you can tip the battery upside down. The acid won't drain out. You don't have to keep an eye on the water levels. The disadvantages are it's more sensitive to overcharging. When you're charging it, you need to make sure that you've got a good regulated charger. The other disadvantage is it's more expensive. The next lead acid sealed battery is a gel battery. The battery acid is not a liquid, it's gelled. You can tip this one upside down. You don't have to check the fluid levels in this one. Now the disadvantages. You can't fast charge this one. It needs a special charger and regulator. And it's more pricey than the other two. The next deep cycle battery is the lithium ion. The new kit on the block. This battery is 30% lighter than the others. It charges really fast. And it lasts a lot longer than the others. The voltage is very consistent. I'll give an example. If you put a light on the lead acid batteries, the light would dim. This one would stay the same brightness until the battery died. You don't need to check any liquid levels on this one. As you can see, a lot of advantages on this one. You can see why the Tesla electric cars use this. Probably waiting for the disadvantages. There's only two, price and price. So those are the four main different types of deep cycle batteries. The flooded lead acid battery is the cheapest and the most durable. The sealed batteries cost a bit more. They're less maintenance unless you overcharge them. And the lithium ion battery, which is amazing all around the block except price. There's the four different types of deep cycle batteries and some of the advantages and disadvantages.